Introverts, how did you meet your girlfriend? Went to a friend's party and three of my friends and me were sitting around a fire. Then this drunk girl comes up to us and wants to know our names. Well I have a rather exotic name and she jokingly asks if my parents didn't love me or why they else would they give me this name. At this moment I knew I will have to find her on Facebook and ask her out. And no I don't know what's wrong with me. Three years later and we're still together currently in a long distance relationship. I sent out 50 messages a day on OkCupid and suffered through dozens of terrible short term relationships. Now I'm happily engaged to someone who matches my crazy. Introvert girl, easiest way I found to even meet new people is online. Joined Tinder one day, got several messages. Got asked out on my first date and we've been together since. The way he asked me out was so are we a thing? We hang out every weekend and my family thinks we are. She was checking me out one day. Grocery store, not what you were thinking. I had been interested in her for a while so I messaged her on Facebook. She gave me her phone number and we went on our first date. Two and a half years later, we've been married for a year and a half, and haven't looked back since. Fair to say that I was extremely fortunate with how it all turned out, I'm awful around new people. Hey op, and from the looks of it, many people in this thread, what do you think introverts are? Deleted. School. I was heavily under the influence of alcohol and marijuana at a party in my apartment and threw up all over the bathroom. She ended up helping me up to my room and took care of me that night to make sure I didn't throw up in my sleep. We started dating a week later. Introverted girl. Men my ex FWB at a party and my boyfriend at school. We had mutual friends and ate lunch together. If you like a girl just talk to her. I was extremely shy, so shy that my throat would seize up from anxiety, cutting off my ability to speak. Also was emerging from a 10 year, serious depression where I lost almost all friends and contacts. Saw a therapist for the depression, but the social thing was very tough. I decided to put on the fake persona whenever I talked to cashiers at stores. My persona was confident and outgoing, complete opposite of me. The first few times, I faltered, my throat seized up and I dashed out of the store, never to return again. Too embarrassing. Eventually, I got much better at faking it. Could hold entire conversations as a confident person. Then go home and recharge for a day or two. Anyway, the more I pretended, the more natural it became. I even started flirting with the girls behind the counter. And, holy crap, I got a date. One date turned into two, then so on. Nine years later, I'm still with the same woman and happily married. Fake it till you make it. Sounds stupid, but it really does work. I didn't. I met my husband in an MMO. Made an NSA joke, she thought I was funny, texted, for three months, met her at uni, lived down the hall for her. Made fake dating profiles. Hit her with the can I kiss you via word vomit. Nine months and counting as we speak. So and I are both introverts, we met on Bebo in 2008. Ten tenths would recommend meeting people on Bebo in 2008. Zero ten would not recommend meeting people on Bebo in 2017. I met my ex BF on a Facebook anime page, through a poetry status he made. Deleted. Easy. I made her up. Just go for it and have fun. Do something that you wouldn't normally do. My boyfriend of 7 years and I are introverts. We met in college through friends and started hanging out with our big group of friends. I remember one day we had a huge lightsaber fight in the quad. That was fun. Anyways, one night we're hanging out in the lounge room of my dorm, him, I and two friends. Our friends start playing pool and him and I are sitting there, not really paying attention to a movie, when out of nowhere he grabs my sandal from the floor and runs away with it. So I'm chasing him, attempting to get it back and it turns into a wrestling match. It was so much fun. 
The next night the two of us are hanging out in his room, playing games until about midnight and I play the I don't want to walk back to my dorm card. Even though he offered to walk me back, I declined. So he let me sleep in his room, yes, sleep, and the next morning there may have been some cuddling and kissing involved. Later that day, after skipping all of our classes, and ignoring our friends until dinner time, we decided to start dating. This all happened, from us meeting to dating in the literal span of a week. We just went for it and I don't ever regret it. By saying hello to her every day when she walked past at work. I was on nights, she was on early shifts. Now, nine years later, we're still together. I was solving a Rubik's Cube and she had asked a friend of hers to talk to me and say I have a friend that wants to learn how to solve it. Teach her? And so I did. Fast forward a couple of weeks and she actually learned to solve it under a minute. Fast forward a little more, we're hanging out daily. Today, we have been together for two years. Really guys. That cube is the best thing to ever happen to me. I met my great group of friends because of it too. I'd. We worked together. Work was a real comfort zone at the time, my confidence was always at 100% and I was always high energy. Just demanded her phone number in the middle of business. No big deal. I could never have even said hi if it was school slash bar slash bus stop or whatever. It's actually sad because I don't work there anymore and I'm single again, she moved away, feel Spardman. RuneScape. I was nice to her, but I wasn't weird about it because she was so far out of my league that I knew it wasn't possible for anything to happen. She asked me out to lunch. Whenever neither of us had anything to do, we'd get dinner or see a movie. We went on a vacation together. She got drunk and held my hand. When we both got back from the vacation, I asked her out. Our first kiss came, my first kiss ever, when she demanded that I kiss her. Been married six years now. Sat behind her in a community orchestra before asking her out. Also took over a job in the group from her so I'd have an excuse to interact. How I met my GF isn't all that interesting, but how I worked on myself in order to improve my chances as an introvert and formerly very shy person, is something I think more people reading this thread will find useful. Realizing that introvert doesn't equal bad social skills, only that you charge your batteries when you're alone. Use your strengths, introverts are often better listeners and at observing others. By using statements about your observations, this needs some social calibration, but practice makes perfect, the conversations will flow better. Many people have told me that I'm very easy to get to know. The secret is that I'm just really good at getting other people talking about themselves. Accept that as an introvert, long days being social is often tiresome. Either you can come later to the pre-party, or go home sooner. Also, I've found that drinking water and eating some food often energize you more than alcohol if you have been drinking for a few hours. It's better to be energetic and fun for 4 hours instead of just slowly turning into a socially saturated monster after too many hours of socialization. Find your sweet spot and stick with it. Everyone is shy in some forms of interactions, but some generally more than others. You will never overcome your shyness if you don't step out of your comfort zone. You need to get exposed to those types of interactions you feed. Deliberately focus on the process, i.e. taking initiative slash action, instead of the results, i.e. the outcome slash response. Most often you will find out that you have little to fear, and often you will don't care about the outcome because you're so proud of yourself for pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. The reality is that most people don't care that much if you say something stupid, especially if you show that you don't take yourself too serious. Embrace your weirdness, it shows confidence. People think you're more of a weirdo if you're very silent rather than someone who is true to themselves. You will attract the people that fit your personality if you act like your true self. Yes being yourself is a great tip, you just have to act like yourself, not like the fake, boring persona most people act like when they're not yet comfortable with the one they're talking to. Tinder. We met in a psychiatric ward. 
After my GF at the time cheated on me, I attempted to hang myself. After my failed suicide attempt, I was put on suicide watch in the psychiatric ward in the hospital. Since I was only 17 at the time, I had to sit at the minors' tables in the corner. We weren't allowed to leave that table to sit anywhere else. The next day, she was admitted and had to sit at the same table since she was 16. Since there wasn't much to do, we talked and talked and talked. Now we are over a year strong and I love her to death. She was my friend's neighbor. We went to the same high school and started talking on Facebook a bit. One day she asked me for my number. Kinda went on from there. Almost 9 years later we're still going.